Hi there everybody, it's Mrs. Drake with the clarinet. And I am going to be doing clarinet packet number two, page one. Clarinet packet number two, page one. If you haven't warmed up already, please uh, go ahead and warm up on a few scales. Alrighty, and now we are going to do uh, the first song on this, which is song number 89. It's called Chorale. Um, so this one, it does have a repeat sign, but let's just play it once. And you'll notice there are two fermatas. Fermatas are those arching, um, that arch with a little dot underneath it. Fermata means to hold the note as long as you wish. So the tradition on a fermata is not to count any beats. You just kind of hold it until, until you feel like you've had enough. Um, and when you're playing in a group, the leader of the group nods their head to show you to end the note. Okay, so I'll try to, uh, if you could glance at me, glance at the video on the fermatas and you can follow my gesture. Let's just play it through once. Everybody warm up at E. Let's do it about E, F, G, that speed. And remember, glance at me at the fermatas. Ready, get set, go. warm up. Okay, song 90, variations on a familiar theme. And the theme is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay, um, so uh, the theme is the main melody and the variations mean they take the melody and change it a little bit. Um, so there's a theme and two variations. Let's just play it straight through like it's one big song. Look at the ending. Notice there's no key signature. So realize that that B, the third note from the end, has to be played as B natural. You've got to know for yourself, are you good at remembering stuff? If you're not good at remembering stuff, grab a pencil. It's totally okay with me if you write little reminders to yourself. So that B is going to be middle finger B natural. Okay, remember to breathe in and clear off your spit. Often, often do that. Everybody warm up a C. Song number 90. C, C, G, G. That's the speed for song number 90. One, two, ready. fast for you. Feel free to um, just put your mouthpiece on your shoulder and just practice moving your fingers. See if you can keep up with me that way. Of course you can always turn off the video and just practice it without the video and try to get it under control. Okay, 91 is Banana Boat. This one is kind of fun. Okay, so the first note is C. The second note is low G. I want to remind you that low G is six fingers, three on the top, three on the bottom, no pinkies. And there's two times where you have to play low G, low A. I expect you to know those notes. If you don't know them, please um, study. Um, there's a nice finger chart in the back of the book. You've got to know which note is which. And then this one also uses what's called DC al fine and fine. DC al fine is a type of repeat sign. It means to bounce back to the beginning. And you play until the word fine. So you play the whole song. Then you bounce back to the beginning. And then you stop where the word fine is. A little bit of Italian. Music writing was invented in Italy, so the tradition is to write musical terms in Italian. Fine means finish. Okay, so song number 91. Everybody warm up the first note and the second note. C to G. Warm up those notes. C, G. That's going to be the speed for song number 91. One, two, ready...
on that one, I also sent you an audio file to go with Song 91 Ban Banana Boat. So what I'm asking you to do is to put on that audio file and play Banana Boat at the same time. I think you'll really enjoy hearing the music that goes on that audio file. Okay, moving on down to 62 Camp Town Races by Stephen Foster. This one has a repeat, but I'm just going to play it once to save time. Um, all right, look it over. There are some high A's in it, but this one is overall pretty easy. Everybody warm up a G. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ta. Let's do it at that speed. Okay, song number 62. One, two, ready. song on the page 63 is called New Directions and this goes down to the low G. Remember low G is three fingers on the top and three fingers on the bottom. Everybody try a low G. Again if you have small fingers you got to really try to cover the holes. If it doesn't come out, if your fingers are small and it doesn't come out very beautiful that's okay with me but just still know the position that you're aiming for is uh, you should know what the fingers are and you should know what it looks like on the page. Even if it doesn't sound beautiful, I expect you to recognize what the look of a low G is, what an A is on your fingers and on the page. Okay, song 63 starts with a C. Everybody find a C. C, A, G. That's going to be the speed. Song number 63. One, two, ready. Page one.